Hello guys, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and I welcome you to another video on Android App Development Tutorial. So from this video today, we're going to start a new video series in which we're going to develop a video sharing application using REST API. So let me show you the demo of the application. So I have my device connected here and you can see this is the demo of the application that we're going to build in this series and here you can see I have a list of videos and I have pulled these videos from the REST API or JSON file that is available in the server. So let me show you what I have in the server. So this is the file that contains all the details about the video. So it has the JSON object and JSON array with the name as categories and the uh, object name is categories and the categories name is movies and inside that we have another uh, json array uh, named as videos and inside that we have each movie as a json object okay so now what i have done is i have parsed this uh, rest api or this json file into our android application and then i have displayed all the data into this recycler view Okay, so I have displayed the uh, video title and other information is just a dummy information but we can, we can replace that as well because they have also provided the uh, subtitle, whoever has posted this video and they have also given the description and so on. Now if you to play this video, you just need to click on this and after that it will load the video player activity and you can see here I have the title and the description of that video which is given into this uh, json file okay so you can also perform the basic uh, video operation like pause and play okay like that and you can also uh, skip or seek the video and something like that and at the end of this video we'll also add one more function to uh, make this video full screen i have currently not added here but uh, by the end of this video we'll do that as well okay so this, this is the final application that we are going to build today. Let's get started. Also you can get this same JSON file from the link in the description or you can go to my GitHub from github.com slash picasshava01 and there you can uh, go to this repository and download the source code. I will link this repository with, uh, into the video description as well. So that's it. Let's go and start making this application. So we're going to start by creating the Android Studio project. So I have my Android Studio open here and I'm on the latest Android version. So make sure if you are using the older version 3.12, then make sure to update your Android Studio, Android Studio to 4.0. Okay, so let's create new Android Studio project. I'm gonna select the empty activity and here I'm gonna give the application name. So I'm going to give the name as my videos library because this is a simple video application. Okay. You can give any name that you want. Click on finish. And once the project is loaded and ready, we are going to go ahead and implement. The project is loaded and ready. Now let's go ahead and implement the required, required code to make the application that I showed you in the beginning. So now in the main activity we're going to have the recycler view obviously because we are fetching the data from the json file and we are displaying that into the recycler view okay so to do that first i need to add the recycler view so to add the dependencies for the recycler view you can just click on this uh, simple download button and it, it's going to add everything that we need so and also to display the video and its information i'm also going to use the card view so to add the card view we can go to the widgets or in the containers and here i need to add the card view dependency as well so those are the two dependencies that we need to download right now to be able to implement here okay so those dependencies are downloaded now i'm going to delete the hello world from here and i'm just going to drag and drop the recycler view into the view here and after that we need to set up the constraint here in the other sides so i'm going to fix that and let's give a zero into the all the sides like that okay and make this match constraint into the both side okay and now let's give the 
ID for the recycle view as a video list because it's going to list out all the videos okay and now I'm gonna go to the resources here and create the layout for this recycler view so we are going to create custom view for the each item that is present in the recycler view so let me show you what kind of item that we're going to make so this is the item in the recycler view so each item will have uh, inflated the custom view that we're going we are about to create here so it has the image image for the particular video and it has the title of the particular video and will also have the name of the poster and the number of views it has and the how long it was posted okay so but these are the just dummy data that i have not replaced and we're not going to replace replace it but you can do so so i'm just putting it here just to let you know that you can also change this information as well so if you are making video streaming app something which has the author name views and the days then you can also uh, use this particular template for that as well okay so let's go ahead and create the view that we need so create new layout resource file and i'm just going to give the name as video view okay now here uh, we're going to start by adding the card view because we need the card view so I i'll just drag and drop the card view now inside this card view i'm just going to drag and drop the constant view layout so click on layouts and drag the constant view here now i can start adding the other component that we need for our application or for this view so first first component that we need is image view so drag and drop the image view here and just select the some uh, default image that is provided here okay and now i'm going to fix the constant for this as well for this image as well now i'm going to make this as match parent for the width and wrap content for the actually we're going to give a uh, fix width here okay so i'm just going to give 220 dp and make scale uh, make uh, give the scale type properties as fit xy because we want this image to fix the given width okay anyway we'll come back to that so let's drag and drop the text view into this constant view okay and Set the constraint at the bottom of the image because it's going to be the title of our video. And I'm going to give the margin as 8 pixel, 16 pixel on the right side and left side, and 8 pixel on the top and bottom. Bottom, okay. So give some sample name, and I'm going to make this mass constraint and 18 sp as the font size, and make it bold, okay. Now it's going to have that uh, information that we need. So this is the author name, views and the number of days it was posted. Okay. So for that we need the text view obviously. So I'm going to drag and drop the text view. Okay. So this is the layout of our uh, view. And let me fix some constant here. Let's remove this bottom constant from the title so that it will just align in the image view now we need to also give the id so i should have given the id at the beginning but i didn't so i'm just going to give it now so this is our video thumbnail so i'm just going to give the id as video thumbnail and i need to replace that in all occurrence and this is our video title so video title and this is our author name 100k views is the views and this is the posted or uh, the posted date or posted days okay so i'm not going to give the id for this but if you want to change this you can also give the id for that but i'm not going to change in this video so i'm not going to give any id for them but you can also give that if you want okay so now this is the view that we need for our recycle view which is ready so one more thing i need to change here is to make this constant view as wrap content because if I don't do that, it's not going to wrap the content that we're going to give it here and it's going to have a lot of spaces between the items in recycle view. So if you run this application without giving this constant view as a wrap content, then you are going to see a lot of space between two uh, item in the recycle view when you run this application in your phone. Okay. So if you encounter such problem, you just remember that you have not given the uh, correct properties to this constant layout. Okay, 
Now let's go to the main activity and start writing the code to implement the recycle view. So if you have watched my previous videos where I have implemented recycle view with the card view, then you can understand we are going to same follow the same procedure. If not, if you haven't watched those video, you can watch that. Otherwise, I'm just going to do the same thing here so you can follow along with me. Okay. So let's create the recycle view and uh, which is called video list. So I'm just going to give the same name. Let's bind the data with the external resources. So added ID video list. Okay. Now we need to set the layout manager. So let's set the layout manager with linear layout because we are not going to give any grid type of style. We are just going to give have the uh, one item in the one row. Okay. So we are going to use the linear layout. So now we are going to need the adapter for this recycle view. Since we are using the custom view, we need to have the adapter to display or inflate the video view layout file we have created to this recycle view. Okay. Let's create the adapter class here into our package. So new Java class and now select, uh, now give the adapter class here. So I'm going to give the video adapter as the class name and make sure that class is selected here and click enter once you've done that it's going to create the video adapter now this adapter is going to extend the recycle view adapter okay and this adapter is going to take the generic parameter which is video adapter dot view holder because we need view holder okay now we need to create the view holder class so let's create that and this view holder class it's going to implement the recycle view dot view holder okay now inside this we need to create the parameter of constructor with the matching name so now we need to implement few methods click on implement methods and click on ok and here you can see all the methods that we need to implement here so in the beginning, just to test if the recycle view is working or not, I'm just going to display the sample data. Okay. So sample data. Okay. So let's give some sample number here. So five. So it's going to display the five uh, items into the recycle view. Even though we don't have any data to display here, we're just going to display this uh, design that we have created here. Okay. So now here we need to create the new view by, uh, and there we're going to inflate our custom view so v and now we need to inflate the view using layout inflator so from parent dot get context and we're going to inflate and here we need to specify the layout so video view is the layout that we want to inflate for the each item into the recycler view and now we need to provide the parent view group and false as the last parameter now here we need to create new view holder class instance and we're going to pass b as the parameter okay and now this adapter is ready to display the sample data so let's go to the main activity here and create new adapter class so adapter actually we need to create video adapter and i'm going to give, I'm going to give the name as adapter or you can also give video adapter that is your preference so adapter new we're going to create a video adapter okay and now we need to assign this video adapter to the to the recycle view so video list dot set adapter and the adapter name is our class name is our object name is adapter okay so this much should be enough to display the sample data so let's run this application and see if we are able to run this application or not so my device is connected here if you have the emulator you can run that but i don't have emulator i'm just directly running this application into my device so let's select that and run this application okay guys the application is running here and you can see it is displaying the data but it is not displaying the images because we have used the sample image there so uh, i'm gonna copy and paste some uh, image from my system and uh, try to add here and we'll see if it is working or not okay so let's do that i'm going to copy some sample images so i should have some sample image and paste into the driver folder 
and select the drivable not drivable 24 and click on ok and here click on ok and go to the video view here and just click on this image and we need to replace that so click on the source compact and here you can select the image that we need select that and now it is displaying the data okay so now let's run this again and it should display these images here into this recycle view okay now you can see it is displaying all the images that we need and it is also displaying the uh, five items into this recycle view even though we have not given any real data okay so now we need to fix some uh, uh, mistakes or a bug here so this title is really stick to the side so we're going to fix that okay here you can see i have given the fix width for this card view so instead of that i'm going to make this match parent or match constant so that we can have this spacing there so let's run this again and it should fix that problem okay guys the application is running and here you can see now the problem is fixed and it is look uh, it looks like the kind of view that we wanted in our original application okay so uh, there is some spacing problem there so we can fix that by giving or uh, removing this 8 pixel of margin there so let's run this again and now if we run this application it should fix that problem okay so this is the view that we wanted here you can see and in the next video we are going to implement the required library like Wally and Picasso and we will also start parsing the JSON data and we will also display that data here. Okay, so like this video if you haven't liked it yet and don't forget to subscribe for the future videos and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, have a good day.